Hi, Peter here from Wonderstruck. Um, now, cars are great, rockets are great, and if we put them together, we get a rocket car, which is awesome. Now, rocket cars are usually the preserve of multi-millionaires with lots of money to build things that go incredibly fast and are obviously very expensive. But what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna build our very own rocket car. Really simple, doesn't use all that kind of fire and high technology, just uses water. Um, and to do that, you're just gonna need a few simple tools and a few little bits of material, which you can get from craft shops online, that kind of thing. So materials you're going to need, a plastic fizzy drink bottle. This has to be a PET type bottle, so it's used for holding things at high pressure because we're gonna pressurize it. You need the cap of the bottle. You need a piece of plastic. Um, this is stuff called Coriflute or Corex, um, and it, it's a plastic with channels, so it's like corrugated cardboard, but made from plastic. Um, this is about 20 centimeters long and probably six or seven centimeters wide, just so it kind of fits on the bottom of our bottle like that. You are going to need a car tire valve. This is from a tubeless tire. You can buy these um, in packs of 100 online for about 10 pence each. If you buy them individually, you might get one from your local garage. It'll probably cost you a bit more, maybe a pound or something like that. Um, some plastic insulated tape, a couple of bits of plastic straw, um, some MDF wheels. These have four millimeter holes in the, the inside, so the centers, like that, four of those, and get them different sizes. And then we have some lolly sticks, round lolly sticks. These are four millimeter diameter so that they will fit into the holes and wheels. These are our axles. And also it's important you get your straws so that they will just slide easily over your axles because these are gonna hold our axles and need to be able to rotate. Um, tools, you're going to need a file, <coughs> a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of scissors, and you're going to need a drill as well. This is a 14 millimeter diameter drill, and you're going to need that for making a hole, obviously. Right, okay, our first step <coughs> is very simple. All we need to do is tape this onto the bottom of our bottle. So to tape the bottle on, you just want to position it so that the flat end is pretty much on a level with the end of the piece of plastic. You then get a reasonably long piece of tape, carefully pull it over the top of the bottle like that, lift the thing up, try to keep the bottle in line, and then wrap the tape underneath. like that. Try to keep it tight because you want this to hold the bottle on fairly firmly. It's easy when you've done the first one because that holds it in position and then you do the second one towards the back. Wrap it around nice and tight. Don't worry if it overlaps like it, I've made it there. And there is the body of our rocket car. Right, and the next step is just to add the bearings, if you like, that's a very technical term for what they actually are, the axles and the wheels. So to do that, you have your two pieces of straw. Uh, you need to cut them so they're about the same width as the uh, piece of plastic, like so. And then you need four pieces of tape five or six centimeters long and you use those to stick your bearings onto the underside of the car uh, like that and like that obviously you put one at the front that's gone over a bit one-sided but that's okay and one at the back there we go. So the bearings are now in position and now you need to add the wheels. Now these pieces of wood can be a bit brittle so you do have to be careful when you push these into the wheels. Now the wheels are quite a tight fit or at least mine are. The ones that you get from wherever you get them from 
might be a bit looser. So carefully push these in, try and keep your hand away from there and also hold it like that. Don't push it like that because these can break and then it will stick in your hand. So twist slightly as you push them in. They're a bit long, you might want to trim these down with a little hacksaw or something like that before you use them. That one goes on a bit easier, like so. So obviously only put one wheel on to start with and then slide the wheel through the straw and then put the other side on like that. Now you can push them in closer, obviously they've got to be free to turn. <coughs> Oops, and we push those in like that. There we go. I think my front wheels are a little bit skew with, so our rocket car may go around in circles, but it doesn't really matter. It's all good fun. So there we go. You should have a car now that moves very easily along when you push it like that. Now comes the technical bit. Right, building the nozzle is the hardest part of this, but it's quite simple as long as you've got a few tools. Now the first thing you do is you get your valve. Now remember, it has to be for a tubeless tyre, so it's got this kind of rubber fitting on the base here, like that, this round rubber thing. So take off the dust cap, you won't need that. Now you need to extract the inside of the valve. You can buy tools to do this, or you can just use a little pair of needle nose pliers. Just carefully push them into the valve, grip the inside, and then twist the valve body, and the inside should unscrew nicely like that. You won't be needing that either. So what you should end up with is a clear throughway through the centre of the valve, like that. So basically this is now just a tube. Now, the next step is we want to get rid of the thread on here because we're going to clamp this into a bicycle pump and when we're ready to launch, we're going to launch the car by releasing the lever on the bike pump. If there's a rough thread on there, it may not come off. So we want to smooth this down. You don't have to get rid of it completely. And to do this, we use a file. So we just use, uh, put this on a, a workbench and just rotate it around uh, along with a file like that and you should soon get rid of the thread. I'm not going to do that now because <coughs> I've already done it. Here we go. Now that's all we have to do. Relatively smooth. You can still see the threads are there but they're fine like that. So here we have a nice tube like so. So that's our nozzle basically. The next part of producing the whole assembly is to take your cap from the bottle and drill a hole in it so that we can then install this valve, this nozzle. Now, for my valves, a 14 millimeter hole in the cap works perfectly. And I drilled that using one of these. This is a lap and spur drill. It's got a point in the center uh, and then it's flat around the side. It's very good for precisely drilling holes in soft material. If you don't have one of those, <coughs> drill a pilot hole first with a small drill and then gradually make it bigger with bigger drills. If you don't have a drill that's quite big enough, you can drill a hole as big as you possibly can and then enlarge it with a round file. That's a bit harder. Um, so it's probably easier just to get one of these. They're not that expensive if you don't already have one. Once you've uh, drilled your hole, you should end up with something uh, like that. And then you just simply push the valve in and with a bit of brute force, just pull it through. It should be a tight fit, like so. And then, Screw that onto the back of your completed car. <clears throat> right, so all you need to do now is go test your car and we'll take it outside and give it a run in just a second. Um, if you want to go further, what you can do, you can actually make a kind of card or paper body for the car, try and make it a bit more aerodynamic if you want to do that. Um, when you use the car, obviously you're going to put water in here and air. It's important to put the air in because the air is what's storing the energy because you're pressurizing the air so the energy is stored in that. If you don't have enough air you can't store much energy. If you have too much air you've got lots of energy 
but it's the mass of the water being expelled out through that nozzle which is actually producing most of the thrust. So if you have lots of air, you've got lots of energy, but you won't have much water. So you won't actually have much reaction mass, which is producing the force to make your car move. These will work with just air in them. In fact, you can pressurize them with just air and they will work, uh, but not very well. They'll you know, maybe go 10 feet or something like that on a nice smooth floor inside. With air in, you could expect one of these to go maybe 30, 40 feet quite easily. Um, so uh, yeah, they're much better with a bit of water in and obviously much more fun. When you fill it with water, it needs to be slightly more than half full because the bottle is flat. So when you lay this down with the connector on here, you need the level of water to cover this hole. If the water doesn't, as soon as you release it from the pump to let it go, um, all the air will escape and the water will stay where it is. If the water just covers this hole, the air will push the water out, the car will start moving, and as it starts moving, the inertia of the water will mean that it actually gathers at the back. So it no longer lays in a flat um, layer like that, it's actually sloped. So the water will actually force itself back up against the nozzle and as a result be expelled from the back. So there we go. Um, obviously don't pressurise these too much. These bottles will explode. 120 to 150 PSI, that's if they're in good condition. Um, we generally use 30, 40 or 50 PSI, no more than that, just in case. Because when they go bang, make a very loud noise. And if you're holding it at the time, it can certainly hurt your hands. So anyway, that said, let's go give it a try. Right, all we have to do to test our rocket car is just fill it just over halfway with water and then connect it to a bicycle pump. There we go. And then we just need to put some pressure in. There we are, we're at 60 pounds per square inch. And then to release it, all you do is pull back on the lever on the pump. So there you go, simple to make and quite impressive. We'll do this with tape, carefully just press one end of the wire down on top of that fuel cloud, don't pour it out or anything like that. 